Katie, read this to me. Can you see it? The arrow, the arrow, the area of a rectangle bar is 300 square feet. The width is 50 feet. What is the length of the vegetable bar? Okay, in one word, what type of problem is this? I didn't hear it. I heard somebody say volume. Read this. Read the first sentence to yourselves. Area. Now tell me your area formula. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? Y'all are stuck on volume because we've done more of that. Okay, in the information, we know the area. What was the area? It was 300. I'm going to plug it in below area. What was the length? Wait, wait, wait. We don't know. I'm just going to drop down my letter L. It may be a good idea to write your L as a cursive L so you don't start thinking it's a 1. That's the letter L now. And then what was my width? 50. We have to think of something that we could multiply times 50 to get 300. So, the correct way to go through this is first, think of your basic fact, and secondly, think of your value. So, what basic fact? 50 <coughs> times what number would give me 30? We can't make 3, and I don't, I'm not really worried about 50. I'm worried about 5. Yes. So, my basic fact, 6 times 5 is 30. Notice I went ahead and underlined 30. How many more place values do we have in our answer? One. So with my 6, I should put a 0. I should make it a 60. And then you can always test. We think it's 60. You can always test that to make sure and see, is this really what I think it is? 6 times 5 is 30. Oh, I don't know. So is, start, is 60 right? No. no, six. Because look, this was not five, this was 50. 50. And so do we need this extra zero? No, no ma'am. No. So our garden is going to be a six by 50 area, 50 foot area, six feet by six feet by 50 feet. And so we know that the 300, since this area is really, what kind of feet? Also, I would like to point out that this would be a really weird garden. It would be um, maybe about this wide and really, really long. And so when I was typing your problem, I was not thinking about value. It would be just a really skinny but long, narrow garden. So it's not very a very realistic problem. I just kind of typed this problem in a rush. But you can see, you want to think about your basic fact. That's how we got our six. And then you want to think about how much value you still need in your problem. And that's why we stayed with six instead of adding the zero to it. Okay, thank you.